Despite a lawsuit and restraining order by the Minnesota Attorney General's Office against the Boardwalk Bar and Grill in East Grand Forks to close, it remains open on this Friday evening. Uh, just had a crew uh, drive by and they talked, uh, called in and said they're open till 11 tonight. Uh, here's uh, Mayor Steve Gander talking about the issue uh, at about uh, 5 o'clock. The position we've taken as a city is we cannot endorse someone violating an executive order. We never would endorse that. Um, it's an individual decision that every business has to make and they do it with eyes wide open. They know that there'll be consequences. There'll be consequences locally. There'll be consequences at the state level. And each business has to weigh those consequences. But uh, again, loud and clear here is nowhere have we put an endorsement on any uh, intentional violation of an executive order. And yet, like I said the other day, if something like this pushes your back against the wall and threatens your very survival and you're in a fight to keep your business open, this is what happens. This is what you can expect. And you know what? I think if it's extended, we're likely to see more of it. I'm not endorsing it. I'm not encouraging it. But if it gets extended, I believe we're going to see more of it and it's going to be all across the state. I don't want to see that. I want to see these folks reopen within the law, safely with all of the protective equipment and all of the other measures in place. We will do that. We will do that. Okay, with the one, Go ahead. I'm sorry, with the one restaurant opening up, um, she got served papers from the chief of police. Obviously, this is the executive order. Um, she knows there will be consequences. Then there was a report that the city was not going to do anything about it right now. They were going to let the state take care of it. So has the state done anything about it or has there been any penalties or fees that have been mentioned or served on boardwalk already it is my understanding that the state is moving forward with enforcement it is my understanding that the state has notified them of what is to follow and it is my understanding that they are considering their options inside of that that reality i don't know exactly where it stands at this time but i will tell you the state has has gone to the next step at, which is fully within their right to do. Um, they have an executive order in place and, and they're enforcing it, which again, and, and, and that's their right.